Hi, I'm Emily. Welcome to Storytime in the Galleries at Home. Today, we're reading Everywhere Wonder with permission from Macmillan Publishing Group. In this book, the main character travels the world in his mind. One stop are the pyramids in Egypt. This reminds me of a mummy coffin in the galleries. Let's take a look. This is Mummy Coffin of Petasiri from ancient Egypt. It was created to house the mummy of a man named Petasiri. The afterlife was important to ancient Egyptians, and mummy cases like this were painted with decorations and hieroglyphs, designed to help protect the ka, or spirit of the person. Let's look closer. The face is covered in real gold. A detailed collar ends in falcon heads, representing Horus, god of the sky. Further down, we see a figure with outstretched wings. This is Newt, goddess of the sky and heavens, who is depicted with a sun disk on top of her head. Below Newt is Anubis, preparing a mummy. We know it's him as he has the head of a jackal. There's so much to look at on this mummy case. We could be here all day. But now, on to the story. Everywhere Wonder, written by Matthew Swanson, illustrated by Robbie Bear. I have a story to share. It's a little gift from me to you. You might not know it, but you have a story too. You'll find it in the things you stop to notice. The world is full of people and places and things, all of them interesting, all of them beautiful. You never know what you might see or where your mind might take you. So keep your eyes wide open as you go. Wow, it looks like his mind is taking him out the window. In Egypt, there are pyramids. Oh, look down here. The boy's riding a camel. In Arizona, there are canyons. Oh, and here's the boy again, looking out over the landscape. In the jungles of Brazil are leaves so plentiful and green that light can barely reach the ground below. In the high hills of Japan are gardens full of wind-worn rocks and clean white sand, but not a single flower. In Kenya, there are hot, dry savannas filled with zebras and blue wildebeests. Here are the boys in a tree. In Alaska, there are cold, wet waters filled with seals and sockeye salmon. This time he's in a boat. In the middle of the Coral Sea, there is a roaring storm that no one will ever hear. On the near side of the moon, there's a quiet footprint that no rains will ever wash away. I bet an astronaut left that footprint. In Sheboygan, there's a tractor mechanic named Shirley who has 37 friends. I wonder if the author means Sheboygan, Wisconsin. On the North Pole, there's a cold and lonesome bear wishing for some company. Here's the bear. He really blends in with the snow, doesn't he? You want to go see him, of course, to let him know he's not alone, but your bike won't get you there and back by bedtime. Still, you noticed him, didn't you? He walked off this page and into your head. Now he is part of your story. 
There are other wonders yet to find, not so far from where you are right now. They too are interesting. They too are beautiful. Stop to really look and you will see them. In the highest part of the tree is an unexpected gift, a blue balloon that must have slipped from someone's fingers. In the deepest part of the pool is sunken treasure, a shiny dime that must have tumbled from someone's pocket. Will you save it or spend it or leave it there for someone else to find? It's just about to grab the dime. In the grocery store are aisles and shelves and stacks of cans. You have to look so carefully to find the ones you want. In your bowl of steaming soup is just one noodle that doesn't match the others. Where do you think it came from? On the playground is a sturdy line of bright black ants carrying their supper home. Under the bridge is a gently rolling river floating a blue glass bottle out to sea. Perhaps it holds a message. What does it say? Who could it be for? There's the blue bottle rolling down the river. In the busy town are sidewalks full of swiftly moving people who somehow never seem to collide. Wow, that is a busy street. In the quiet countryside are miles of open, empty roads that somehow never seem to end. Where do they go? Someday you may find out. In the hallway is a spotted dog that turns golden as the sun sets through the window. In the bedroom is a doorknob that makes rainbows when the reading light clicks on. Now the lamp is off and the moon is up. You close your eyes and see them again, the things you notice today. All of these together are your story. Dream with them a while. Oh, and he's returned to the pyramids. When you wake up in the morning, open your eyes and open your window and let your story out into the world. It is a little gift from you to me. Gosh, I love all these drawings he's making. Now my story is complete, but yours is just beginning. The end. After the story, we make something inspired by what we've seen and heard. Let's make an accordion book. Then later, you can fill it with sketches of all the wonderful things you see during your day. You'll need a long piece of paper, two rectangles of paper, and a glue stick. Fold your paper in half, then in half again, then in half one more time. Open your paper, and then refold it on the creases, going back and forth, like the folds of an accordion. Glue the rectangles of paper to the ends. Then start drawing. You can use both sides of the paper. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.